it's been a minute, I know. Uh, it's Gio here from Raw Dogs. And today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to change the brakes, the rotors, and how to bypass the brake sensor on this Cayman. I mean, I've se I haven't seen enough videos on this car on YouTube, honestly. That's why I'm gonna start making little videos here and there. Just maintenance, you know, mods. And I know I should have filmed it, but I installed a wing. I think it looks pretty gnarly. I also did a muffler delete, but I'll, I'll get on with that when I make a video on on the whole car itself. We're gonna do a feature when Donovan gets back. All right, here are the tools you'll need for the job. You need a Phillips screwdriver, a ratchet, a 10 mm Allen, something to push the pin out. I'm just using this. Electrical tape. Electrical pliers and some regular pliers. All right, the first thing you want to do is to take the wheels off, obviously. So jack the car up and do that. And since I'm going to be bypassing this brake sensor right here, see where it connects? All right, I'm just going to cut it off. You want to cut it after the connector because um, if you want to replace the speed sensor or whatever, then you're fucked if you cut it before that. Make sure you don't cut the other wire off. Let me snip it right here. Just like that. These wires are going to be exposed. Make sure you leave enough wire to like splice together. Because you're going to want to splice them together. Alright, all I did was twist the wires together. And now I'm just going to put electrical tape over it. And to start off with the actual brake change. You're going to want to take off the caliper, right? And you can take that off right here. It's just a 10 Allen. And there's two of them. There's one right there. And one at the bottom. I went ahead and loosened them, but I left them in there. Hey, what you want to do now is take off this pin right here. Oh, you can't really see it. There you go. You want to take off that little pin so that you can push this big pin out. The tool I used to bang it out, which is pretty, this is pretty badass because uh, you can hold it right here, right, and you know how it moves. Yeah, you can just hold it right there while you bang it with a hammer. It's pretty handy instead of holding it right here and banging your fingers. Alright, when you take the pin out, this little thing's going to come out with it. It just pushes the brakes down. And now you want to take off the caliper. But make sure you have a jack stand because... You want the caliper to be resting on it when you take it out because uh, it's connected to a hard line. It's pretty flexible, but you don't want it dangling, you know? You have to decompress the brakes. All you gotta do is get something big like this, like a big flathead, put it between the thingies, and just turn it. You're good. The old pads have these little thingies right here, which go inside the pistons. But the new ones don't. So I'm just gonna install it without the thingies. I mean, my Evo didn't have one, and they're pretty much the same brakes. They're Brembo's. But Evo didn't have one, so fuck it. I'm gonna take off the rotors. This is pretty simple. Like, y'all probably know how to do this already. Just take off the freaking screws right there. One right there. And it'll come right off. Sometimes you have to hammer it off, but it should easily come the off. New rotors on. And all you gotta do now is put it back together, pretty much. I mean, if you know how to take it apart, you can put it back together. Alright, since, um, since the new pads don't really have the little thingies up top, all I did was install the caliper, torqued it down, and you can just slide the pads in like this. Alright, front is done. And I'm going to go ahead and do the rear, but it's pretty much the same thing. Same process, you just take off the 10 and all that. And you can do the bypass as well. The only difference is that the back has drum brakes. It's a, it's a it's a regular rotor with a drum inside, but you don't gotta worry about that. I just adjusted mine, so I should be good. If you don't know how to adjust it, that'll be a different video. Just request it on the bottom, and I'll make a video on that. So that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, let me address this dent right here. I didn't do that. 
It came like that. I bought the car with a dent. I guess the guy hit his garage door. But I'm gonna get it fixed. I know a guy that'll do it for like 80 bucks. Alrighty, I'm finally done. And the brake sensor delete work because uh, the brake light isn't on or anything. Oh yeah, y'all probably are wondering why the fuck did I take it off? It's because if you track the car, the brakes get really, really, really hot and the sensors melt and they tend to just trip out the light and I don't want that to happen. So while I was changing the brakes, I just got on with it. But yeah, man, it came out great. Lower. Oh, yes, Gio. Oh, yes. In the ass. Yes. In the oh, ass. Yes. In yeah. the ass.